Uh, it seems to me that the Polish chickens that I have are susceptible to respiratory ailments sometimes in the winter. Uh, they tend to go out in all weathers, uh, sometimes getting very wet and uh, this can lead to respiratory problems. Now Qatar, which chickens often get, um, it used to be called roop, um, is something which is not a disease, it's a symptom. It's a way in which the body eliminates toxins. And in humans, it's quite obvious we can blow our noses, we can keep those uh, respiratory airways clear, but chickens have got no hands, so they can't. And what happens is, as they continue pecking, if they've got uh, catarrh, they've got mucus coming out of their nose, if they're pecking in the soil, uh, their nostrils, particularly in the polish, which very open nostrils, can get blocked. And this, this is where steam inhalation comes in really handy because you can put your chicken over the steam and it can breathe in through its mouth and start to clear those airways and then you'll get the nose nostrils clean as well and it'll keep those toxins flowing outwards and it'll stop any infection forming in the nose as well which is unfortunately what can happen if the nose gets blocked up. So in the next bit of the film, one of Bungle's good friends, called Little Cecily, is going to illustrate how to detox a chicken using a steam inhalation. Now there's a way of doing this so you don't disturb the hen and so you don't burn the hen and that is to, to put your hen's feet in your hand like that so you're going to get burnt first before the hen does so you know what the temperature is and hens usually fine with inhalations um, this is little Cecily she's got no problem at all but she's just demonstrating and you just hold your hen near to the steam like this so she can breathe it in so there she is she's quite safe there and you want to do it for a couple of minutes now if you've, got, if you've got a whole flock that has respiratory problems then the best way I've found of doing this is to put the flock on a step ladder uh, near your stove and then just take your pan and put it underneath each hen bringing it back to the stove to get the steam flowing again if you've got quite a few to do. This only ever happened to me once when I had four or five hens that all had catarrh and that was due to the fact that uh, I didn't grow cabbages that year and they didn't have enough vitamin A. So this was a solution and it worked really, really well. There you go. You can see she's tasting that. See her tasting it, so we know she's getting some of this very useful herbal steam. So if you take a look at Diavolo here, you can see these. Thank you. You can see these nostrils and how they can get infected. They're very big and they've got all this wattle around them and uh, that's how they can get dirty and they can get blocked up in the winter with Qatar. And from Spike and me, thanks for watching. <laughs>